You see them squash. Pesky pests, the spotted lanternfly, an invasive species. They feed on plant sap and can damage crops. An invasive species. We're going to dive into these bug assault guns and uh, get ready to blast some of these invasive lantern flies off my property. So this all started with the uh, 2.5. I've had this for a while. I absolutely love this thing. The reason I got it, it was it's non-toxic. I got kids at the house. I really didn't want to have to deal with any chemicals, especially with the flies. And I didn't realize that two years ago that it would come in handy now, specifically with this invasive species. So I was making some videos on Instagram, uh, just for fun, blasting off with this thing. And uh, it caught the attention of the uh, company that manufactured these products, Bugasol. And I am uh, so grateful for what they did. He reached out and uh, said, hey, I, I like the content. and." Uh, we'd like to send you some more stuff. So, you know, me expecting a hat or something simple, <laughs> this is what I received. Today we're gonna go over what I got here. We're gonna shoot some of it off, have some fun, maybe take care of some invasive species. All right, so we're gonna start off with the uh, 3.0. So between the 2.5 and the 3.0, my understanding is what, these are easier to cock. These are a lot more powerful. Other than that, that's the only difference. They're slightly harder to cock, but uh, the power output plus the uh, chamber space you have for salt is much larger. Uh, to, to bugs, it's almost like a shotgun going off and it just decimates them. Non-toxic, which is the best part. And here's the other version. So originally patented in 2012, created by Lorenzo Maggiore as a tool for killing flies at a distance. After patenting, the bug assault gun was put on Indiegogo. We was able to raise 577,000. So unlike many of their projects, he managed to actually deliver on an excellent product. And uh, he did exactly what he was advertised to do. I found out about it two years ago. And uh, like I said, nothing's beat destroying flies and some of these, uh, lantern flies with something as safe as this just obviously you know be, safety is important don't aim this at anyone's face at your own face don't shoot it in your eyes um, you're not gonna like it so these things were originally designed to shoot flies they promised to be an insect hunting tool that functioned like a miniature shotgun um, since then they've had several updates geared towards making it more efficient and more powerful they're currently on their third version for flies, which is effective for cockroaches and mosquitoes and other small insects. And then we get into this monster. First off, this hat is awesome. This is the shredder. Let's open this bad boy up. That isn't some great marking, I don't know what is, and that's where we're gonna be going after today. Look at that. This thing's got some weight to it. CO2 powered. Comes with quick loads 120 rounds two packs of that some more stickers and the most important part co2 cartridges let's go in the handle here there we go safety release we're gonna load these up and uh get some shots off outputs are the same these do not require batteries whatsoever just table salt 
Then we're gonna get into the provided ammo. I pity the fly. Who's a Mr. T fan? Chime off in the comments. Gave me some bottle cap openers, which are always appreciated. And then we got the bug of beam or bug assault bug beam. This thing's gonna be incredible for afternoon shooting and nighttime. Wiping out of these vermin. There you go, you got your rear sights. Rear sights are adjustable. As you can see, two points of adjustment. This is how you open it. And then you wanna load your cartridge, salt cartridge. Like that. Arrows lined up. Ready to shoot. So here we are today in our private little hunt with the bug assault shredder. By no means. I am not wealthy. I work very hard for what I have. We we're fortunate enough to have bought a home in 2020 with great rates that came with a pool. So it's an expense, but we do enjoy it. So let's get back to the video with the shredder. Got our loaded, got the optics on there, the uh, laser sight. Now we're just waiting for lantern flies. They like to come out in the evening. They don't like when it's hot out. Neither do I, that's why we have a pool, but we're waiting. Okay, so I have my rudimentary salt range set up. Let's see what the differences are between 2.5 and 3.0 rifles first. Then we'll get to the shredder. Shots for both guns loaded with bug assault, high performance salt, ammo you can eat. I want to keep the variables the same. All right, shots are from 21 inches away to keep everything equal. First up is a 2.5. And next up is a 3.0. Same thing, 21 inches away. Let's go. All right, forgive my miss there, but between both shots, you could definitely see the 3.0 had a little bit more penetration. So to see some daylight through there compared to this one. Let's split the distance in half now. So now I'm gonna aim slightly to the left at half the distance. Wow, pretty impressive. Let's try the 3.0 now. 3.0 at half the distance. That's the definitive answer right there, folks. I love my 2.5, but that's the difference between a one-shot kill and a two-shot kill on a lantern fly. The 2.5 will normally take the wings out, which is sufficient enough. Let the uh, other bugs take care of them at that point. But as we can see, the 3.0 certainly puts a hole in the aluminum foil. Imagine what it would do to the lantern fly. Next up, my old time favorite, the shredder. We're gonna do 21 inches for start. Let's go. Sweet Jesus. Let's take a second to reflect on that. That's not just air pressure, that's salt. They stand no chance. Now let's get one from half the distance up close and personal. I can practice see my neighbor's house. 
All right, let's do this one more time. 2.5, 3.0, Shredder. I don't know if has anything to say about my shooting. Mind you, I'm shooting one-handed. I'm doing the best I can here while also filming. Here we go. It's about a 18-inch separation. Two point five. Three point oh. <laughs> this isn't even fair, I should pull back for this, but we'll do the same distance. Still have to adjust my sights, but here we go. All right. It's clear. Evident winner is a shredder. Please don't point this at other people or at yourself or anything other than an invasive species, please. That's dangerous. Wow. And last take, one last minute here to reflect on the uh, differences. 2.5, still a great gun. Less output, less force to cock the gun. Spray pattern's pretty nice. It was effective for me for quite some time, two years now. 3.0, uh, yeah, we can see there's a difference there. A little harder to pump the gun, but uh, significantly better throw. And then, this is obvious. Shredder just decimates things. I would uh, reserve this gun specifically for big game. I'm impressed. Now let's say you don't like getting close to these things. I said decent distance is about three feet. I'm about three feet right now. How do I know I'm three feet? Measurement tape right there. So let's go for it. Three feet away, shredder. There you have it. Yep, doesn't look like that's ever happening. Video of the backside. All right, let's discuss the uh, lethality of this thing for bugs. I'm gonna demonstrate on this flower. That's what's left, folks. Yeah, just in case this is of any importance to you, to bring on your carry-on. Uh, the newer version 3.0s are roughly about an inch shorter. It uh, looks like the barrel on the uh, previous version is a little bit longer, coming in at roughly 22, if you compensate from the handle there. And the 3.0s coming in at around 21 inches in length. The super compact and super powerful shredder comes in at roughly 15, 15 and a quarter, I'd say. Explain that to TSA. With this arsenal, you'll be ready to tackle any mosquito prone area. So the 2.5 comes in at 770 grams. 3.0 comes in at 704. Same amount of salt in both. This is the fiber optic version without the laser sight. Let's add the laser sight and see how much it weighs. 728 and still significantly less weight than the previous version. 
Good job, Bug Soul. Another 3.0 with just the laser. No salt. 728. And a shredder comes in at 765 with the laser sight. That's also loaded with a CO2 cartridge and a salt cartridge. And a hat comes in at 80 grams. Light enough for any of those big old noggins. Going to wait for this little guy to come to me. Here he comes. Oh, you're trying so hard to swim away. You ever try to swim against the current? In closing, this is a bug assault to suit all your needs. Uh, these guys are great. I can't thank them enough for the opportunity. It's really cool to uh, collaborate. I'd say I'm pretty satisfied with the uh, arsenal I have here in the backyard now to conquer any type of vermin. Just wanted to say thank you to all the viewers. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It definitely helps us creators. And I look forward to creating more content for you guys. Thanks again to Bug Assault and the whole team behind this. Uh, it means a lot to me, truthfully. Thank you. Today we're diving into the world of bug assault guns. Yeah, that's happening right now. Here we go. All right, she's all done. Stop. Uh